Would you guys just wanted to give you an update on the free extended support for Windows 10 and what you need to know. So soon you're going to see a little icon here saying enroll now. Or you might see something looking like this right here where it will give you the option to enroll for extended security updates for Windows 10. And it will look something like this once you go and click on any of those. Now, the first thing I want to bring to your attention is Microsoft confirmed that you don't have to meet the minimum Windows 11 requirements to still be eligible to receive Windows 10 free extended security updates. I said free and a bunch of people started saying I was using clickbait, but it is free if you follow a couple of simple criteria. First off, let's go through the Windows 10 Consumer Extended Security Updates, the ESU program. There's some prerequisites right here, and these are what you need to pay attention to. So first off, it says to enroll in the Consumer ESU program, make sure your device meets the following requirements. The device needs to be running Windows 10 version 22H2 Home Professional and Education or Workstation Edition. The device needs to have all of the latest updates installed. The Microsoft account used to sign into that device must be administrator account. That means you must be signed in to a Microsoft account. The ESU license is tied to your Microsoft account. So you may be prompted to sign in if you typically sign in uh, to Windows using a local account. You can't have a local account when you're using the ESU program. So Microsoft accounts can't be a child account either. You need to have an actual account and sign up to it. So for the consumer ESU program, here is a breakdown of the cost. So we've got three items here to take a look at, and I'll show you these in more detail so you can understand, because I think there was a bit of confusion for a few people. So first off, at no additional cost to you, if you sync your PC uh, with the PC settings, I'll show you that in a second. You can also redeem 1,000 Microsoft reward points, and there's also an option to do a one-time off purchase of 30 US dollars. Now, you will need to have a Microsoft account to use any one of those options. Also, all enrolled options provide extended security updates through to October 13th, 2026. You will need to sign in to your Microsoft account in order to enroll in the ESU program. It says right there in black and white. So I think there was a lot of confusion, but really what it means is you're going to need to sign into a Microsoft account. Uh, account to enroll into the ESU program. Now, some people may think that they're giving up privacy to maintain security updates, and that's entirely up to you whether you opt into this option. So to enroll into the ESU, they will roll this out to you very shortly, and you'll be able to click on what I showed you earlier on in the video. There's also some frequently asked questions on that page. I'll leave a link for all of this in the video description. You can go through here if you have any other sort of questions this page should help you decide on what to do. People make it a big deal out of it at the end of the day. If you want to keep your old computer running and working with Windows, you're going to need to either do one of those options. Now, the reward system, a lot of people were asking about this. You can see in this account right here, I have 200 rewards that I can redeem if I want to. You can earn extra rewards like 6,500 points a month by sharing your Microsoft rewards with your friends or family, and that will give you extra rewards. It says right there, uh, 1,300 points per friend. So if you invite someone into it, you're going to get 1,300 points. If you're playing games online or playing games with Microsoft, you're going to earn points as well. And you can see download the Bing app and search for two days via the app to earn another 500 bonus points. So if you want to get it for free and you want to go down this route, you can use the redeem points. You may even have already a thousand points to redeem. And if that's the case, just click on the redeem button inside uh, the actual application when you're uh, enrolling and you'll be able to use those points up to get it for free. You're also going to need to make sure your system has a legitimate uh, activation and it is activated you cannot go into the enroll program with a system that has not been activated so we do know that so basically that is what you need to have a genuine pre-activated license on that system and you can then enroll into the extended updates program 
Now, none of these options are a long-term solution. I know people love to hate on Microsoft, but at the end of the day, Microsoft have given people plenty of time to roll out updates to Windows 11 or even uh, get themselves a new computer and sort themselves out. But people love to do it lastminute.com. So if you are on a local account and you want to use this extended uh, security updates program, you're going to need to sign in to Microsoft. Even if it's for a short period of time where you set it up and then sign out, you're going to need to do it regardless. So what I said before about the uh, sync in your PC, there is an option uh, that is coming to Windows 10 users where you can sync your PC. But again, you are going to have to sign in and sync your PC, and then you can sign out afterwards. But really, at the end of the day, Windows 10 is dying and it's coming to an end. People are clinging on for dear life. And at the end of the day, it's it's going to go the same way as all the other operating systems, and it's not going to get any more support. You may see nag boxes and little bars popping up on the screen saying upgrade now you may get see things like get ready for windows 11 and things like that they're going to start pushing this onto you quite a lot now because the time is ticking we've only got say four months before we start getting into end of life for uh, you know windows 10. so let me quickly show you this application that's going to be rolled out you're going to have two windows backup programs on windows 10 very shortly and it'll look something like this where you'll have backup your pc and also you've got transfer information to the new PC. And these options will be rolled out to Windows 10 users very shortly, if not already I've heard uh, from some PC repair uh, channels that they've already seen computers with this on there. But again, you are going to need to sign into a Microsoft account. And this is how it's all going. They want you to have a Microsoft account uh, on that system. And they're trying to move away from the local account and get you to sign in. It's just Microsoft. It's just the way it's going. So syncing your PC settings uh, to Microsoft will allow you to enroll in the extended security updates for free. So when people say I'm using clickbait in my titles, they don't know what they're talking about. There's two options there which are completely free. Redeeming points on your account, like I've already shown you, and also syncing your PC settings to Microsoft. And that will also give you the free enrollment for extended security updates. Now, if you're sick of Microsoft and you don't want to use an operating system from Microsoft anymore and you don't want to buy a new computer, then by all means, you can then go off and download a, a flavor of Linux that you like. This is Fedora. You've got uh, Mint, you've got Zorin OS, you've got tons of different ones out there. You can install that on your PC and you don't have to worry about activation. You don't have to worry about adverts. You don't have to worry about telemetry or any of that sort of stuff, and you can use this operating system and still receive updates, and you don't have to worry. There is a big difference between Windows and Linux, and we're not going to go into that in this video, but there's an option available to you. Uh, there's other versions of operating systems that you can use as well, and I'm not going to go into that, but there's plenty of them out there. If you want to know more about that, you can always join my Discord server and ask questions over there, and I'll do my best to help you. Now, we did talk about zero patch as well, and I've covered that before. I'm not going to go into that in this video, but that's another option available to you. If you want to pay a company to extend uh, micro uh, patches on your system, these are not uh, down to the uh, kernel level of patching. This is a different way of patching the system. And because Microsoft have a locked operating system, it's very difficult for people to patch kernel level uh, patches and updates. So the only best people that know how to patch their system is Microsoft. Zero patch is an option, but it's not free and it's more money. So it's entirely up to you if you want to go down that route. Now, I know people are going to say Windows 10, IoT, LTSC 2021. There's an option right there. And unfortunately, it's not. Uh, legitimately, you're not going to be able to get your hands on it properly and activate it properly. It's just not possible. So if you want to go down that route, that is on you. I will tell you that you will run into software issues later on down the line. Now, 21H2 as a desktop version has already reached end of life in 2024. We're in 2025. And of course, what the difference is, is you're not going to receive any more feature updates. So that will stay on 21H2 for another eight more years. And it's just not going to receive any more feature updates. So what will happen is when you go to install software, just like this right here, Adobe uh, Creative Cloud Desktop. It's not going to install and it's not going to work because 
they don't support uh, ver older versions of LTSE anymore. And it will get older as time goes on. Now, you may be wondering, uh, is there other software? Yes, there's tons of other software that's not going to install. There'll be browsers and maybe drivers that aren't going to install like NVIDIA future down the line. So bear that in mind before you jump ship onto the IoT LTSC route. The choice is yours at the end of the day. Now, some people are just into the whole drama thing of Microsoft, and they're making more of a, an issue of this than there really needs to be. The choices are pretty simple, really. You pay your $30 dollars or you do the free route and you will have to sign into a Microsoft account if you want to keep that old beta on the road and keep it using Windows. If not, then use something else like Linux or something like that. It's pretty straightforward, really. If you've got any questions, you can leave them in the comments section down below or even join my Discord server and ask questions over there. I'll try and do my best to answer those questions for you. My name is Ben Bryan from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. Have a lovely day and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server. Bye for now.